Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We might get a surprise appearance from Tomo. It depends how much he wants to get petted here. Tomo, you want to be on the screen? Oh, he's like, I just, I'm so close to wanting to be on the screen. Oh, you got, you got a little ear? Tomo, hello, buddy. Oh, you got, oh, you got a couple of whiskers. I apologize to the devs. This is very unprofessional. And now he wants to leave. So I'll get up and let him out. And then we'll start talking about Ori and the Will of the Wisps. There you go, Tomo. Goodbye. Nice to see you for a minute. Um, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, the hotly anticipated sequel. Follow-up to Ori and the Blind Forest. A game that despite being urged to play, I have not played. And honestly, it represents probably one of the biggest uh, game blind spots for, for me. Yes, I did hit my head on the microphone stand. It's because my controller was unplugged. Um, so, here's the thing, right? I should probably play Ori and the Blind Forest. But this one just came out. It's on Game Pass. It's 40 bucks on Steam. It's free on Game Pass, dude. Game Pass continues to be one of those incredible bargains that... Uh, I'm taking a lot of advantage of. Let's play on normal difficulty, and we'll just feel it out, you know? I'll level with you. If you want an authoritative source on whether or not this game is good, I'm probably not your guy, you know? Uh, there, there are other people out there that have, you know, played the original and found the original to be a beloved classic. I'm coming in sight on scene. But I didn't want to make the same mistake, you know? I think it's easy to... Oh, hello. Hi! It's easy to be like, well, I missed the first one, so I'm never gonna play the series. But hey, maybe I'll play this one and be like, you know... I can go always go back and play Ori in the Blind Forest. It ain't going anywhere, and thank God for that. We shall always remember the day. The one thing I know about it, without a doubt, is that it is gorgeous. When new life came to nibble. Imagine this has something to do with the, the plot of the first game. Great music, too. We named her Ku. The atomic symbol for Cup tonight. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do the Thor Loki stuff and then you're gonna rip this beautiful bird out of my hands. Don't do it. It's a raw onion. You've lost your mind, dude. Little Cheshire Cat sort of situation going on right here. Hey! What the? <laughs> it all happened so fast, dude. All right. Arise. Rise from your nest. Let's do it. Can we get... We can get up there. Can we go, like, up, up there? No, we cannot. Okay. It really does... And this is the first time I've seen it in motion. It really does have a beautiful visual style, right? Like, it's totally unique. Nobody makes the first jump. Don't sweat it. Could have been worse. Looked better than the first time I tried to ride a bike, I'll tell you that much. Very cinematic so far, too. Like, I mean, I, I know that this is developed by, I believe, Microsoft Game Studios. So it's not like this is something you would expect to be kind of, you know, on the low budget side. But could, you know, it's actually telling a story in a in an engaging and interesting way with a little bit of artfulness instead of just four comic panels that are like in the land of Ravia not sorry I shouldn't have insulted the witcher gooey or wait no <laughs> it's slimy yet satisfying there we go I don't know what happened to the audio there I'd be more inclined to imagine that's my computer's issue look at this it's like we're watching how to train your dragon Send him! <laughs> I thought he was gonna yeet him into the valley. Sorry, I shouldn't be talking over this. This is very beautiful and majestic. 
Look at that. He's grown into a, a beautiful owl of his own. Oh, a beautiful owl of her own. The sky called to her. Gumo and Naru heard it too. Of course, that's Gum Gumo and Naru. I was very familiar with that. She's doing it. She's moon flying. That's how I feel after about 35 seconds in the gym every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I can relate. You don't walk away in shame or embarrassment. That's not the way we do things around here. And then the, the pull out so we see full camera gameplay. Got to check. Okay. Now, let's go have our, our big brother moment where we say, hey, slugger, it happens. And we see the beautiful real-time lighting effects and the herons in the bay. I can already tell they're going to use this. This owl is going to be leverage. This is not like, hey, let's introduce a cute little owl. Everyone will have a big smile on their face. This is like, wait till they get attached to the owl. Wait till they get invested. And then the the big baddie is going to rip the owl away. And you're going to have to fight him when he's under some kind of mind control device or something. The answer lay in the past. Hello. Hit him with the yaha, woohoo, okie dokie. It really is good looking. It's, that's undeniable. Her mother's final gift. Oh. I thought I solved the puzzle. <laughs> I, got, I got too excited. Good stuff. Good stuff. Look at that. The tutorialization is complete. Kuro's Feather. While airborne, hold right trigger to glide freely or ride wind currents. Okay. So you're thinking something like this? Alrighty. Now we're talking. Already got our first Metroidvania ability. It allows us to get over large horizontal gaps. Or should I say, horizontal gaps? <laughs> you're ruining the decorum. I did try to hit the laugh button. I, it's getting a little old. Like, look at this thing. It's all, even the plastic on the front is peeling. Still works, though. Slot that bad boy right in your auxiliary slot. Oh, tickle, tickle. You should dip his, uh, his hand in a glass of lukewarm water. See what happens. That's all right. My hair doesn't grow in right either. Look at that. Good as new. He's fulfilling the Bernoulli principle. Oh baby. I so I don't want to I don't want to jump the gun on this, okay? But I have the real suspicion that what this is going to be is we learn how to ride this thing and then the power is ripped away from us. That's that's how it feels to me right now. We're going to have a few moments of glorious flight followed by a long time of uh sincere emotion. Let me put it that way. Go for it, dude. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm holding the right trigger, though. He's done. I knew we were waiting for this how to train your dragon moment. Yeah, fly me right through the bramble, brother. I genuinely don't think I've seen a platformer look this good from an art design standpoint since, like, 
Depends what you're into, I guess. But, like, Rayman Legends. But, I don't know. This is, like... It's on another level. No, you... Tony, you can't climb that high. Your suit's gonna ice up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think it's probably an audio device thing on my end. Even though it doesn't happen with other games. It does... It does compromise the... The bravado of the moment, though. I'll level with you. And let me guess, these are all areas that we will see over the course of the game. Oh, and they put the little the little penny whistle in the song as well, so you know it's got a little mountainous quality. Hey, look! It's the late title drop. It looks like Grandma, the freaking thing. Beautiful. Canadian geese fly into my neighborhood to take caustic dumps on the sidewalk. Is this the minus turf I've been told so much about? Dude, what did I tell ya? I knew it! What a terrible idea. <laughs> it's like the CD is failing to load or something. <laughs> it's alright, they're gonna you're gonna get the bird back by the end of the game. They're gonna hit you with some joyous moments, I promise you that. Alright. You know, I have a reputation, I think, deservedly, as somebody who's not that into lore. And I, I definitely understand that. Um, simultaneously, when you do an opening cutscene that's that good, I'm all in. It's just when you hit me with 45,000 little journal pages that my eyes glaze over, and all I want to do is press buttons. You, you handle it artfully like that, I'm all in. All right. No reply. Inkwater Marsh. Always go left. Anytime you get the chance in a game like this, you go to the left. Because you never know what you might find. I don't have any abilities yet. As a result, I choose to jump into the water and be eviscerated immediately. <laughs> no, I want to... Excuse me, sir. There we go. Jump here. Climb this thing. Oh, baby. He's doing it. Get a little swing going here. No, that's not how this works. That's not how this works. Instead, you just climb and then you fall into the toxic water and you get yeeted. Okay. You know what? I'm thinking maybe we should follow platformer protocol. Move to the right instead. The right? Just the way you go in games like this sometimes. What the heck was that? Life orb. Collect these to restore Ori's life. Can we get to this uh, yellow orb down here? We can indeed. Small spirit light container. Can be traded to friendly creatures for various items and upgrades. Okay. Understood. Well, that's going to be bad for the old lumbar. But we'll still we'll give it a try here. Okay, so I'm imagining that is a wooden wall that requires some kind of Metroidvania esque thing to do and I'm the same with that would be my expectation. Don't forget about the small light orb container. People think I have a problem with games that are story driven. This this opinion's gonna get me into a lot of trouble by the way. People think I have a problem with games that are story driven. I really don't. I do prefer mechanics. I think that much is is undeniable. Um it, it would be to be honest, a little ignorant of me to say that that, that was not the case. Blast him, dude. Wow, it looks so good. The problem for me, and and not everybody's ooh, okay. Not everybody's gonna like what I'm about to say. But a lot of game stories, I'm not talking about your Witcher 3s, you know, I'm talking about 
Um, honestly, like the average stuff that shows up for Northern Land tries. The... Can we burn this? I cannot burn this. The, the average story quality in it is not as high as it is in, in something like this. And I know you're like, what's the story in this so far? You know, like, oh, siblings get separated because of uh, a little bit of hubris. Yeah, but like, it's the way it's told, you know? You could make any story sound stupid if you just distilled it down to its synopsis. Like, you know what a game that I love that's not very mechanics-driven? Both Limbo and Inside, I think, do a fantastic job of, of telling their story and getting something engaging out there. Um, and while not being necessarily as mechanics-driven as something like The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Anyway, I digress. Squork, what are you now? Not a Moki, clearly. Not even from Nguyen, are you? I've visited most lands near and far, and I've not seen your kind. Come from across the water, maybe? Well, whatever you are, I'm talk a wanderer in these parts. The better parts, at least. I'm taking shelter from that storm myself. But if you're thinking of going further, you'll have to get through that spirit gate to the east. You'll need two keystones. I happen to have one in my bag, and there's another in the cave ahead. What do you say? New quest, find the keystone. Okay. He also had, well, excuse me, sir. You happen to have one in your bag, you say? Okay, so he, he won't give it to me until... Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> he won't give it to me until... Uh, I find the other one. I, feel like I was just going to say, if you'll excuse me, I desperately desire a life orb, and it, there appears to be another one here. I don't think we can do anything with that, though. Oh, we totally can. Don't be a fool. Yo, let's go. I definitely, you know, I'm going to say the magic words. Definitely getting a little Hollow Knight from this as well. I think that's, uh, yet again, pretty much undeniable. Oh, I have accidentally panic pressed the button. Just, just fall, forehead. Look at that, look at that, look at that. He's good. We're crushing it. A little life orb we don't need. Already mastered it. So I'll tell you, it's early. Are you cool or not cool? Well, there's no doubt you're cool. You're like a lizard with some neon dreadlocks. That's extremely cool. No doubt about it. You're doing three hits? Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't get the memo that this was a three hit situation, okay? You killed me. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed by that. I can tell you right off the bat, I don't know if I can say I 100% understand the appeal of Ori, because that's kind of just a ridiculous statement for having uh, only played for like four minutes. But I like 97.5% understand the appeal of Ori right off the bat. Now that I'm playing it, I'm like... They sink you early with the, with the fact that it's pretty. And I'm assuming that it's only gonna get, it's only gonna tug at your heartstrings a little bit more, you know, from this point onwards. Jump on blue moss to cling to it. Like, it looks so good. I'm sure, most videos I'm sure of this game are probably just people going like, it looks so good, dude. Uh, we don't have a torch any longer. So what are we doing? It's a great question. I mean, we do have to go this way. So you jump on blue moss to cling to it. You, oh, you gotta go. You gotta go on the ceiling. You weren't thinking about that one, were you? You gotta go on the freaking ceiling. That's the kind of thing you can only come up with if you've been playing uh, platformers since 1993. Be cool. I gotta say, they're crushing it on the oboe game as well. Kate would be a big fan of the soundtrack right now. What do we got here? Keystone. Let's go, dude. It's just that easy. I'll say, originally, I was like, you know, we should say, like, we're going to do this video until at least we get the keystone. But then I... Bruh. I kind of thought, what if I don't get the keystone? What if, what if it's too hard for me? What if it takes too long? Turns out that's not much of an issue right now. We've made it, but we have lost our torch. Oh, send it. 
What do you got for me, Taka? I love this guy as well. What was this animal called Is based on? A shoe bill? It looks like something from the never-ending story, but it exists in real life. Now I can continue my wanderings before we lose any more, and you carry on with whatever you're doing. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Quest completed. Keep your eyes sharp. The wind isn't the only thing that howls in this swamp. Ooh, very spooky, sir. Very spooky. Um, do we not have a quest right now? Forget what he was talking about. You got to go to the east to get the... Is this the thing that's blocked off? Perhaps? I don't believe so. He said something about going to the caves to the east. I remember that. See, if you'll excuse me, I just need... I'm not trying to be aggressive toward you. I am merely... Trying to make my way in the world today. Oh, dude, we must be going the right way. You see this thing down here in the background freaking us out? That's how you know you're going the right way. Thank you for the life, Moss. Uh-oh. The lighting is too good in here for this to be a throwaway room. I take it you're not the wind? Crash Bandicoot strategies. Go. We're still going. We're still moving. They wouldn't program it so Ori could die, dude. What did I tell you? Uh, keep moving. No moving. Send them. Big send. Stay aggressive. Bait out the attack. Bait out the attack. Give yourself some space. Smack him. Good stuff. Bait it. Send him. Okay, now, now you're just mashing. There's a fine line between good play and mashing. You've, you have crossed that line. Look, nice hit. Sif, get out of here. Oh, yeah, a little achievement. Thank you very much. Fend it off Howl. I gaze not the only thing that howls in these woods. I understand now. We did lose our torch again, though. It's okay. I understand. It's the way she goes sometimes. Had a feeling we were... I like that little... Uh... Oh, can't do anything there. I like that little uh... pseudo-transparency that conceals a secret. It does. It feels a little Rayman-y to me. I really think that's not a uh, a totally off-base comparison. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have any keystones, so this is where I would put my keystones if I had any. Ah, you're telling me I'm going in the right direction. Much appreciated. And you're telling me there's something to do down here but that we can't take advantage of because we don't have a torch. That's okay, that's okay. Well, it should go without saying, you know, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, if you have Game Pass and are interested at all in, uh, in platformers, highly recommended and, and probably one of the most anticipated releases of the year in that regard. It's a very, very easy sell for the low price of an Xbox Game Pass subscription. At 40 bucks, honestly, I, I don't know whether to say it's an easy one or it's a slightly more difficult one, but it seems extremely good. Have you given me some sort of ability? The ability to summon a torch at will? The ability to appreciate a game with a melding of lore and mechanics? The ability to grow hair on my head? Naru and Gumo sought through the night. Sought. Sought. Have you tried yelling their names loudly? I mean, that's a tough situation, you gotta admit. Yeah, see, I mean... I hear ya. 
follow the Nazgul. Yo, you know what else it reminds me of in a weird way is, um... You are not like the others, the Shrieker, the Howler. In you shines an ancient light. The tree remembered. It knowed, it glowed. It has shared its memory with you. Spirit Edge, you've gained a new ability. A sword. Now use the light we want to see. Yo, now we're talking. Anyway, it reminds me of that game. And I'm actually going to use Google Assistant here for a second. This is not sponsored by Google Assistant. It's just a helpful tool sometimes. Game from the Journey Art Director where you play underwater. Abzu! There you go. Because everything in my head was saying Subnautica, but obviously I know that that's not correct. Um, it, it reminds me a little bit of Abzu. Just in the way, again, like I can't stress enough, I think the way that it's telling its story is extremely great. Like I know I, I overuse this term and I'm not afraid to admit it. Um, there's an artfulness to it that a lot of games, you know, they, they can't hit that level just to be clear. Just to be fair, I should say. I'm not saying it's easy to do it like, oh, why don't they just choose to, you know tell their game at, at a higher level, you know? Tell their story with, a, with a, a degree of professionalism, you know, that you only get if you work at Microsoft Game Studios or, or Pixar. Like, I totally understand, but I'm like, you gotta appreciate greatness when you see it as well. It's so much better than like a still shot of Ori and Ku and being like, Ori and Ku lived together. They had a beautiful life. Magnet, you've gained a new spirit shard. Orbs float to Ori from further away. Not everyone has the resources or the, the know-how to do it, I'll admit, but... Hello, Tomo. The light listens to you. You must be a spirit after all. We Moki thought all the spirits had gone from new and gone away. So long, spirits. Hello. You seek someone. We know a finder. The great one. Wayne Gransky! They got everybody for this game. Go to the Guardian of the Marsh. Quolock will help you find your way. I love a game with a good map, too. Ain't no doubt about that. Find Quolock. Very Hollow Knighty. On the map. We'll play a little bit more here. I think we've done a good job. Hello. It's a squirrel. It's an evil squirrel. I think we've done a good job of showing off like a, a reasonable representation of the game. Um, however, now we're at the point where I'm like, I just want to play more. I don't have any keystones. Can I even make it up there? I don't think so. I don't think so. Zoom, please. Oh, baby. Oh, maybe down? Not there, but... Hold on. I'm not a mappy guy sometimes. I'm not sure if that's... I love the map, but at the same time... The map giveth, and the map taketh away. I knew it. Here we go. This is probably our way. So yeah, suffice it to say... Um, trust me, I get it. When everyone was talking about how good Ori in the Blind Forest was, there is, I, and I, I've, I've taken steps, honestly, to acknowledge this tendency within myself. There's a tendency, and I, I've worked against it a lot over the past, like, I don't even like the past decade, honestly. Um, but if everybody says something's amazing, sometimes... I wouldn't even call it my first instinct. I'm really taking steps to protect myself here. The light from the wells runs all through Nguyen. It joins, it heals. Wayne Gretzky will sign your goblet if you discover him. There we go. Um, 
Where I'm like, sure, it's probably good, but there's no way it could be as good as you say it is. Just because so many people are saying it, it's gotta be wrong, you know? It's a deeply uncool attitude. I'm just if you if you find yourself saying the same thing, and if I think if you look within yourself, you know, a lot of people will find that they have that tendency. Um, you know, you should take steps to weed it out. People are talking about it behind your back. I don't know if that's true, but can we can we do anything here? I don't know if we can have the ability to deal with laser beams yet. Um, but there was an element of that. It's like, I'm sure it's good, but how good could it actually be? Like, there's no way it could possibly be as good as you're saying it is. Now that I'm playing it, I'm like, oh, I, totally, I can see why people are into this. It's a good lesson in there. For me, mostly. And we have not been here before. I, I know you're like, oh my god, stop checking the map. I gotta look at the textures. I gotta look at the textures. I had a feeling this could come to pass. I do not fear you, Squirrel. One day I'm gonna get a dodge roll, and then I'll just level with you. Your life's over. You will not defeat me. You. I literally was dying. I was in the process of dying. As I said, you will not defeat me. So that's a, not a great start for us to fall into the pit there. I think that after this, we're going to get some kind of ability. There's a lot of things here that require like a, a horizontal jump that I cannot make as of yet. Okay, don't get hit by this guy. He's a fool. Probably should leave the life orbs and pick them up later. I'm trying to figure out the combo system. You know, is this like... Do we want to keep them on the ropes at all times? Or do we want to do like a three tap and then get out of there? I don't know yet. That It comes with practice, I'm sure. It comes with practice and time. Can't expect to be an expert at every game you play right off the bat. Oh, hello. Okay, charge me. And I will just stand still while you do. And honestly, almost get bodied there. So let's... Thank you. I appreciate your, your help and support. My life orb got yeeted, dude. You hate to see it. We're going. We're going. Oh, we're not going. We didn't go this way, right? No, we haven't been through the lower side of this yet. I don't know if we can make that. It's close. Let's not worry about it for now. My Metroidvania sense tells me. Ooh. You only need to do that when it's easier for you to do that. Probably would be my guess. Oh, let's go. I knew it. A double jump. Did he know it or did he know it? Or he sticks to walls. We're sticky. Normally that's a bad thing, but... Okay. So let me guess. Top speed. Yeah, yeah. Can we... We shouldn't be able to get up there, but we can get back this way. Oh, dude, now I get it. Now the, the thrill of the fluid platforming becomes fully realized and the potential is on display. You come back this way, you go, hello, you jump there. How am I going to make it? Oh, maybe just by doing that, just by doing that right there. Now that we got a double jump. Oh my god, do you see how many abilities there are? I thought there would be like 12. There's like 30. Well, I think, to be honest with you, this is probably as good a time as any to call it. Um, but I definitely see the potential uh, to fall in love with this game. For real. Now, I wouldn't hold your breath for a series or something like that. I, I don't bring it up to, you know, make my experience with the game any less. But I know that it's going to come up. So, I wouldn't hold your breath for a series just yet. But uh, definitely something I'll keep in mind for the future. Because um, I do think that... Having played a little bit, I'm like, yeah, I get it. And it's up my alley. I do think it's up my alley. Okay, now that we've moved that. So what? How are we, how are we gonna get down there? You know what, that probably lowered something. But why are we we're, we're in the middle of doing our outro and then you're still solving puzzles? Like, why are you doing that? You should be doing something else. Not getting yourself into trouble. 
I mean, that's definitely going to kill us. Let's ice this fool first, see if he drops something. You got anything for me? Like, you think with a double jump? With the double jump of the century? You could just make this happen? Probably not, huh? What about just bashing it, dude? Alright, fair enough. We're gonna call it here. This is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Seems extremely good so far. Seems Chef's Kiss so far. Again, a must download if you got Game Pass. Just go pick it up. As far as purchasing it for other platforms, that's really up to you at your discretion. I will put a link to the Steam page because that's where people like to look at games the most, if I have to be frank. But if you got Game Pass or you, you want to pick up Game Pass, this is something that's a, a pretty good, you know, carrot on a stick, I think, to get involved with that. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed. For now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. That helps me out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We're doing all sorts of milestones this year for subscriber milestones. But the number one that you need, new Northern Lion tries every single day. We're playing 365, 366 games this year because February had a 29th this year. So if you, that sounds like something that's good for you for the low, low price of free, hit that subscribe button. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.